brace yourself to see the best space rocket launches from the USA and China. As time moves on, we have witnessed rapid development and advances in technology in close ways, mostly between highly developed countries in the world. But today is all about the new space rocket launches that we are going to take a look at from these two progressive countries in the world, the USA and China. So in this video, get ready to see how the USA and China launch into space their highly advanced space rockets. And without further delay, here we go. First, let's take a look at China's space rockets that were just recently launched this year before we proceed to the USA rockets. And with that being said, my number one is China's offshore rocket launch. China successfully launched a rocket from a mobile launch platform in China's Yellow Sea on the 5th of June. It was China's first space launch from a sea-based platform. Since the launch site was from a sea-based platform, it is more flexible and falling rocket remains pose less of a danger. Take a look. Number 2 is China's Long March rockets that complete 300 launches. China sent a new communication satellite into orbit. This launch marks the 300 mission of the Long March carrier rocket series developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. Number 3 is China's Beijing-based startup company iSpace, which makes historic orbital launch. For the first time in China, a carrier rocket developed by a Beijing-based startup company iSpace has successfully sent two satellites into orbit on the 25th of June this year. Watch. Number 4 is China's Long March 11 that was launched with 4 satellites. China sent 4 satellites into the preset orbit via the Long March 11 Y6, marking the second successful orbital launch of 2019. These 4 satellites that were sent to space were Jelen 101 and Jelen 102, Link 1A and Xiaosheng 103. Now let's proceed to the USA rocket launches of this year, and that's where my number 5 begins. 
So my number 5 is NASA's Orion spacecraft that was tested. NASA performs key tests in preparation for future manned missions to the Moon with a successful test of the Orion spacecraft's launch abort system from the Space Launch Complex 46 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Number 6 is the launch of SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with 5,000 pounds of cargo. Heels at the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's return from the moon, we send more science and supplies up to the International Space Station. On the 25th of July this year, SpaceX launched Falcon 9 rocket with a cargo load of 5,000 pounds of crew supplies, equipment, and high-tech science gear and many more. Been beautiful so far. The Dragon Supply ship atop the Falcon 9 was making its third trip to the lab complex. Watch. the cape getting smaller and smaller and down they go you go there it is stage separation confirmed and there goes the booster which is coming back to land here at the cape and back ignition stage one boost back startup and there it is great shot of that booster coming off as it performs the boost back burn. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Number seven is the launch of SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket with three boosters landed successfully for the first time. SpaceX successfully launched the Falcon Heavy rocket on its first ever mission commercial flight for a paying customer, deploying a Saudi telecommunications satellite. It was also the first time SpaceX managed to land all three rocket boosters after launch. You may have heard the call out on Net One. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're Max through Q. the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Pico. Separation Successful separation, if you can hear me over the cheering. Side boosters now beginning a flip to begin returning back to Cape Canaveral. Side boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. If you think that China and USA have the best space rockets in the world, don't forget to leave your comment below. 
So that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.